see the behind the scenes work, you know. And yeah, you know, you, you kind of do get like that just because, you know, Coach Doobie really does care about this program and cares about us individually. Um, you know, so it's a number of things you can point out, you know, uh, all the hours he puts in, uh, the VFL program, you know, he cares about everything. And, uh, you know, it, it's easy to get sidetracked at some time. But, uh, you know, we're just, we're just going to, you know, ignore that and we're going to focus on this week. How hard um, was that after the loss to Mississippi State and how close you guys came once again and then just coming away with you? Uh, you know, it was a little difficult, especially for me. You know, I, I personally felt like I'm, I might have lost that game for us with that, with that key fumble. I mean, uh, you know, it, it hurt me real bad. I was real sad about that loss. But, uh, you know, we, we were given 24 hours to be sad about it. You know, it's time to move on. Talk about taking it personally, Deb. How, how did you cope with it? How, how do you get over it? You know, is, is it as simple as just flushing it when you get back here on the practice field today? Yeah, you know, it's just good things happen and bad things happen. You know, uh, it all just depends on how you re want to respond to that. And, um, you know, I feel like you know, I'm going to respond well to it. When there's sort of all this outside noise surrounding Coach Dooley and the program, I mean, how difficult is that for you guys as players to block out? Not really, because, you know, being from here, you know how passionate the fans are and how much love they have for this program. You know, um, it happens, you know. Um, we love it when they're there cheering for us, but, you know, when, when, they, when they're, you know, when they're emotional like that, you know, it, it's easy to be like, why are they being like this? But, you know what I'm saying? They're, 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 in the end, they're there, they're there for us, you know, all the way. So, if, if Ray can't play this week, how, how does that impact your role? How, how does that change what you do? Uh, you know, I'm just, when my number's called, I'm going to be ready. The same for Marlon Q and Tom or whoever else is going to be in there. Could, I mean, do you maybe face the possibility of having to work less on special teams because you may be needed more? on every snap in the backfield, or how does that work? I couldn't tell you. Does it affect when starting a week when you know the guys ahead of you might are banged up? I mean, does that kind of affect your focus even more or kind of make you even more focused going uh, into the week? No, I come in pretty focused every every day. You know, um, obviously it, it makes it puts me more of an edge if I know I'm about to play a little bit more, but, you know, I come ready to work every day. I know you talked about the fumble, but I mean, you did get a lot of carries last week. I mean, how much confidence does that give you just getting that kind of workload? Uh, you know, it gives me a lot of confidence because I felt like, um, you know, Mississippi is the same kind of uh, personnel as um, Alabama, you know, big, heavy, strong guys. Um, but at the same time, you know, it just it just lets us know that we can execute our game plan against anybody, no matter who's in. So. What's the mood of the team right now? Uh, you know, um, Obviously, those losses are irritating, but you got to move on. I mean, that's that's part of the game. That's part of being a man, and um, you know that's just how this league goes. You know, so you know I think everybody is is, is pretty positive right now, and uh, we're, we're going to show that. It, I mean, it just seems like with Alabama playing as well as they are, not a lot of people are giving you guys much of a chance. I mean, is there confidence within the team that that you guys can can pull off an upset? Yeah, definitely. I mean, each week we know we're capable of winning. I mean, you've, you've seen glimpses of what we're capable of doing, and you you know you've seen glimpses of uh, of the times that we of the things things we shouldn't have been doing. You know, uh, but yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. De Devin, you grew up a Tennessee fan, grew up in Knoxville. I mean, how much does it, did this rivalry mean to you? Oh, it means a lot. You know, it's a rivalry game. It's one of the biggest rivalries in, in all of college football. You know, and I'm just blessed and happy I get to play in it. Have you been disappointed even before you came here with the way it's kind of gone the last few years? No, I mean, I've been playing this game for a long time, you know, ever since I was in like five years old. And I know how it goes by now. All right, one of the things folks are talking about is, you know, team in two weeks to prepare, and, and that's got to be frustrating for you guys too when you get out there and you don't get the results that you expect to get. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's definitely frustrating. Um, yeah, we had two weeks, but, you know, uh, we made mistakes. That's just how it goes. Um, talk about Alabama now and, and you guys running the football efficiently. I mean, that's what I was going to ask. When you run for over 200 yards, you expect to win a game in the SEC, but it didn't work out that way against Mississippi State. But on the positive side, it does continue to show improvement in that area. Yes. Yeah, so what are you asking if we can just run the ball against yeah, Alabama? Sure. Yeah, definitely. I feel like we can run against anybody. I mean, look at the line that we have. Look at the receivers we have. Uh, you know, I feel like we can run against anybody at any time. Um, 
Alabama has a great, great defense, obviously. But uh, if we execute our game plan, it's going to show. Were you beating yourself up a little bit after the game? Uh, you know, that's obvious. That's obvious. I felt like, you know, I, I felt I had a huge part in that loss. And, you know, I, I, I couldn't. That was hard to bear. But, you know, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. And that's got to move on. Deborah, are you guys still having fun doing what you're doing, even though the results aren't coming? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you got to keep it fun no matter what. You know, it's gonna, or it's not going to be fun anymore. Deborah, how